Our next project is to work on the landscaping timbers around the driveway. I put them in about 10 years ago. I put pieces of rebar 18 inches long through them to hold them in, which is a good thing because they've been hit by the UPS guy and FedEx a hundred times. So the ties are rotted out and I've replaced a couple here and there, but it's time to do them all now. It's going to be a two-part project. First part is going to be to get the old ties and the rebar out of the ground. Rebar in the ground is going to be a problem. It's like frozen in there, it's all rusted, and it's going to grip. Uh, I have to develop a tool to try to pull that out. That's what we're going to work on next. But the second part of the project is to put the other ties back in. That's going to be fun. That's to cut, nail, and put the rebar back in. So I already have a stack of ties. I might have to get a couple more because I used some last year. I, I bought them last year when they were $2 a piece on special. This year, I don't even know what they are, probably $10. So, yeah, let's start working on this. Just to give you an idea what some of these things look like. There's where it's all raw, and then one next to it, newer one I've replaced. There's the rebar. Another one rotten. Rebar sticking out. Now the downspout got crushed. Damage. Here's another one that's all shot. It's probably about 200 feet of ties by the time I get done. What happened to the end here was somebody came over Tried to plow the driveway, but they had the wrong house. Didn't know that the ties were in here. And their plow hit the tie and smashed it. Actually pushed every one of them all the way down to those downspouts. And that's why that downspout got crushed. But it's going to be a fun project. So I'm going to run through what I envision as my extraction device for rebar. The key is going to be this right here. Don't know really what it's called. All I know is it cost me 15 bucks at uh, Tractor Supply. Kind of hurt a little bit. Most I spent there for a long time. But the idea is that there's going to be a chain on one end of this. This is going to come down. It's going to lock in. And when the chain goes up, rebar is going to go up. This is what I need to get it out of the ground. And some of it's actually bent in the ground, so that's going to make it even worse. So, on to the rest of this. This is just some old angle iron that bed frames are made from. I missed a bed frame at work. I get free bed frame because they usually go in the trash. Another piece of heavier metal for the bottom so I don't have to worry about metal deflection. I weld this all together. I'm going to put a pivot point up in here. And this used to be part of a clothesline in my house real heavy walled galvanized. I cut it down maybe four feet or so, drill a hole through here, make my pivot. On the end of this we're going to have their chain here and that is going to hook onto this. Clevis maybe, is that what it's called? So yeah, that's the idea. I hope it works. This is the mock-up of the rebar puller. I've got the base of it welded together. I have the chain just hanging off the front because I'm not sure how far out I'm going to want it. I'm using that eye hook that's on there. I welded it shut because I know that's going to be one of the weak points. Bed frame frame. Welded together. That's it so far. More to come. Time really got away from me this spring. I had wanted to work on this landscaping tie project earlier. I never got back to it. I did make my tie rebar puller. I'm going to see if that works now. I don't have time to do much of anything today. It's too hot. It's about 90 degrees with about feels like 100% humidity. So I'm going to do one or two just to see if it works and then I'll come back to the project when I have a couple cooler days and get really cranking on it. Well, let's go see how it works.
here's a corner piece of one of the ties. I know it's kind of hard to see, but it's in there. It's mostly rotten out. First thing is I have to get the wood away from the spike. Shouldn't be too hard because there's not too much left. A lot of ants. Let's try it from the other side because there's stones in the driveway here. Yeah, there's not much left. That's it right there. Out. Okay. Right here. my rebar. A clear little shot to it. Again, this is a trial run on this. Not really sure how it's going to work. We're going to give it a shot. A slack. It's locked on. A little leverage now. Here she comes. Using hardly any effort whatsoever. There it goes. I'm not a physicist, but I figured this is the way it would work. And it is. This is exactly what I was looking for right here. Because no matter what I did before, I couldn't get these things out of the ground. And this is exceedingly easy. I'm hardly putting any weight on the handle of this at all. Doesn't even really need to be that long. hang of using this. There we go. Should slide down on its own, but the rust has made the diameter of this rebar a little bit wider than it was. I think she's loose now. Here it is. It works. Success. I love it. So this is the tool. This is the one that's going to work and it's going to get them out for me. Great. Now let's hope for a cooler day. Today I'm going to start working on getting some of these ties up. Of course I picked the best day of the year. 92 degrees. At least the wind's blowing. I hope it's not uh, picking up on the mic. But yeah, it'll start on these. I have some of my tools in the back of the trailer, my lifting device, and uh, we'll start on it. We'll see how far we get. So the ties in the front are up all the way down to the damaged downspout. I'm pleased with the tool that I made. Had to modify a couple things. Of course the 
eye bolt broke that came down here. So I just wrapped a chain around. I had this from tree felling. It went right on there. I also learned that I have two sizes of rebar. That's the bigger size. I'm putting it, putting it through the 7 16 hole on this. The other side is half. And let me see if I can find my other one. And here's a smaller one. Uh, I think it's marked 3 8. Yep, 3 8. I had a problem getting a few of these out because the ground here is so dry and there's a big maple tree right above this area. So what I did was I put water down where the rebar was in the ground. But that created other issues because then the foot of my lifting tool would dig into the ground. So the solution for that was a piece of plywood. I kept it from sinking. I found a couple pieces of pipe that I can use to replace this damaged uh, downspout. That'll be next. All right, one last thing before we wrap it up for the day. Anytime I work around the driveway with metal, nails, whatever, I use my homemade nail picker-upper. I don't know what the real name should be, but that's what I call it. It's patterned after something that's commercially available. What I did was I just took some scrap wood, put a caster on each side, and I think these were free magnets at one time from Harbor Freight. Really not sure what they are now, price-wise. And what I do, take the handle, all I do is I pull it along on the wheels especially where the cars go. And if there's any kind of metal, nails especially, I'm gonna pick it up. And then we found something. A roofing nail. All those little shavings are some kind of iron based something or another but that's a roofing now from when they did the roof in 2016 oh well good glad I got it okay we're back at it again today strung a line all the way along where I want the ties to go has to go and make sure that everything's dug out right and reasonably level. I can start throwing the ties in there. Pretty much done. 
I have to say the quality of these timbers has gone down since the last time I've used them. None of them are the same size. They're plain and all different kind of different kooky angles and the ends aren't square. I actually had to go buy some. They were seven dollars a piece. Only seven. I was kind of amazed at that. The only thing I have left to do is to backfill some of this. I'll bring a wheelbarrow around with some topsoil to fill in the back of this. So yeah, the front part is done. I think I'm probably going to wait until it gets a little cooler to do the back part. I'm going to have to get some more of the timbers also. But yeah. There it is. I did wind up with a couple of these ties that I can use for something else. The rest of them are going to go in the trash. Okay, now it's cleanup time. And one last nail check. I'm good to go. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you later.